Welcome to Get It Together. <laughs> well, that song was specially for Cheryl Harvey and her brother Clifford, and the request came from their mother, Dorothy Harvey of Western Supermare. Great, and on with the show. Well, as usual, we'll be looking at the current pop scene, and our first guests have got a really great single. It's the Nick Straker band with Leaving on the Midnight Train. <laughs>
Thanks very much to the Nick Straker band. Right, let's have another request now. And this one is from Val. And it's for her mum and her children, Sarah Jane and Richard. It's the TSDs for you, rootin', tootin', shootin', and better still, dancing to the Wild West Show. TSD's there, dancing to Wild West Show, a great single from After the Fire. Right, and now a song, and it's for Tracy Dawson, who I'm very pleased to see is a devoted Get It Together fan. And she's requested Brown Girl in the Ring. Well, Tracy, anything for a devoted Get It Together fan. And here are Val, Victor and Lynn with your song. Right, fish and Johnny cakes. 
Lovely. Thanks very much to Val, Victi and Lynn. And now, here for Karen Wilshire of Chingford, Nyan Jarvis of Romford and Kelly and Ruth of Clapham. It's um, a new band from London called The Purple Hearts and it's a really catchy single called My Life's a Jigsaw. And it just uh, gets worse and worse and worse. And I've been stood in that canteen for half an hour and never even got served. I have been standing in the canteen for half an hour and but never you got... But you got yourself a cake and a cup of tea. You missed the point, Ollie. You can't say you've been stood in the canteen. You stood or you've been standing. The same way as you can't say you were sat in the canteen. You sat or you were sitting. But I wasn't sat. The canteen was full. That's why I was still stood. Honestly, Ollie, you want to do something about your party sickles? Hey. They're all over the place. Oh, crikey, I didn't know I had any. Do they show? <laughs> Don't be daft. Don't they teach you grammar at school? <laughs> they would if they had a chance, but have to catch me first. Bird in the hand and all that, you know. <laughs> Oliver Beak, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All right, then. If you won't go to school, I'm going to have to teach you myself. Oh, but me tea, if I don't get back in the queue... Oh, I'm and miss... And you jolly well right now. I'll Come miss on. me tea. Yeah, I know you will. Now, repeat after me. I swam or I was swimming. Now, you can't say, I was swam, now, can you? No, sir, you ought to do something about your grammar. I was swam. <laughs> now, come on, Oliver Beak, concentrate. This is serious. All right, then, watch this. Now, here's an illustration. There you are, you see. I was drinking or I drank, which well, is... Well, it's the... all right for you. You've been to the canteen. You can say it. Stop clouding the issue. All right, then, come on, let's do it this way. You have a drink. <laughs> Tipped a cup a bit, will you, Northy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, smashing. Oh, that's better. It's all gone now. Thanks, Northy. Good. There you are, you see. You were drinking, which is the past imperfect, or you drank, which is the past tense. It's easy, isn't it? 
I think I'm getting the hang of it now. How does it go for eating? Well, it's exactly the same. Look. Ooh. There you are, you see? You eat. You were eating. You ate. You ate the cake. <laughs> Not you were uh, ate the cake. You get what I mean? <laughs> oh, smashing. Oh, got you, naughty lad. I was eating and I ate. Correct. And I was wasting my time being stood in the canteen, because now I've ate your cake and tea, just being stood here having a grammar lesson. Thanks, naughty old lad. You <laughs> foul owl. There's only a crumb left. <laughs> Just managed to get myself into the end of the push bike song. I wish you hadn't, huh? Right, stand by. Ronan of Ilkley, Gina and Dorian of Chelmsford, Angie, Beth and Dana of Newcastle, Neil, Mark and Dougie of Newport, Stella of Isha and June Powell of Stockton on Tees. A bumper request. It must be a great group. It is. It's the Boomtown Rats with Banana Republic. Sounds like dying, dying, dying. 
Granada's wise old owl bringing you words from the encyclopedia. This week's word, fibrocytis. Two words from the Latin, fibro and citis. Fibro meaning suitcase, itis meaning irritation. It's what gypsies get when they have to pack a bag and run away. And their horses get it too. This has been part of Granada's service for the ignorant, by the ignorant. <laughs> Do you know, I almost believed him. Yes, I shall be having words with Oliver Beak, mm. if I can ever catch him. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, that's just about brought us to signing off time, no? Yes, except for the Purple Hearts, who are going to play us out with their flip side. Yep, and here they are with Just To Please You, and we'll be back next week, Just To Please You. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye. Yeah!